EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for March 1st, 2022. It is a new month, and that means we have a new video forecast sponsor starting this week. The first of two that will be debuting this week. Uh, Tuesday's video forecast is sponsored by J. Evans Property Services. It is that time of year, and spring is right around the corner. If you're looking for quality work at a competitive prices from a family-owned business, J. Evans Property Services is the way to go. They offer premium landscaping, sod install, drainage solutions, and landscape design, as well as residential and commercial complete property maintenance. Right now, they have a 10% off promotion on any landscape install or mulching when scheduled now through April 15th. You can call or text to the phone number right above me here in the video or schedule an estimate through the website at Landscaping Contractors Lancaster PA. That's all one word landscaping contractors lancaster pa.com serving york lancaster chester burks lebanon and southern dolphin counties in pennsylvania and also northern maryland they are j evans property services proud sponsors of the tuesday forecast video okay so today we have mostly cloudy skies across the region and uh, that is because we have a system moving off to our north and temperatures are going to be a little bit on the milder side with that warm air advection. Winds are going to turn to the south today, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And we will have uh, more clouds and sun across the region today. And then mostly cloudy skies this evening. Maybe a shower in a few spots, an isolated shower. And then clouds are going to decrease later at night. The spread in temperatures today on the warmer side of that front, 44 to 52. And then even warmer by about 4 degrees as we move into Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be a partly cloudy day, however. Uh, and here's that little system moving off to north. Doesn't show much precipitation uh, across our region, but we do get uh, over to the NAM High Res Future Simulator radar. And I'm going to start this off here at 4 p.m. and move it forward, just so we can show you getting into the evening hours. You have the opportunity for an isolated shower in a few spots. This is not a big deal. This is uh, mainly going to be spitting, not really uh, you know, a steady rain or anything like that. Uh, but you could have a few drops come down with this uh, moving through. So there's very low chances for that. And most areas will stay dry, but you will have an opportunity for at least a shower during the evening. And then after that, we have clouds giving way to uh, clearing later at night. And then partly cloudy skies will follow here on Wednesday. Now that we have another one coming in, another quick system. This is the first of the two systems tonight. As we get into Wednesday, we have another one coming in Wednesday night. So it'll be partly cloudy during the day. Clouds are going to increase during the evening. This one's coming a little bit later, though, so the far northern areas, closest to the New York-Pennsylvania border, may see a snow shower out of this. But elsewhere, it's going to be the same thing, kind of like a spotty shower or something like that. Uh, just in the uh, kind of late evening, this would be uh, and part of the overnight. This is looking at uh, early in the morning, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, which has the timestamp of this particular model. And you can see it's mainly, mainly confined to closest to the New York-Pennsylvania border. You could have a shower that heads all the way down to 78, I-78 with this in both uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey, okay? Just a quick shower, just like it is going to be tonight, okay? Not a real big deal. After this point, uh, we have a trough that's going to settle in for a couple of days. So we're going to be milder over these next two days, as you can see above me, 40, 40, 52 today, about 4 degrees warmer on Wednesday. And then we're on either side of 40 degrees for highs, both Thursday and Friday. But uh, we are expecting partly cloudy skies to maintain on Thursday. And then Friday, we're going to call it, Partly cloudy to start, and then clouds are going to increase late because we have a warm front moving toward the region. Maybe a shower with this early Thursday, uh, excuse me, Saturday morning as this pushes through. But this, again, just a very light shower possible. Uh, mostly cloudy skies otherwise on Saturday, you know, after this uh, warm front pushes through. Once it does push through, we're going to get a serious, serious push of warm air in here. And that's going to come in here for uh, Sunday and Monday. So... Saturday, we're still expecting temperatures to be kind of maybe mid-40s or thereabout. Once we get to Sunday, you're going to increase those temperatures by a good 10, 12 degrees. So you're going to be up in the mid to upper 50s and near 60 in some places here on Saturday. Uh, Saturday, again, it, most of the day is going to be dry just that early uh, in the morning. There's a possibility of a brief shower as that warm front moves through, and that's it. Uh, so the warm front is situated off to our north here, which is up here like this at this point once we get to Saturday evening. And there is a cold front situated with this as well. But the warm air push in between, that warm air advection is what's going to really get those temperatures up here for uh, for Sunday. Uh, actually, starting on Saturday, as this pushes through, Sunday is going to be much milder. We have a few showers coming in later at night, and that will go into Sunday morning. But then the rest of the day is remaining mostly cloudy once that is over with. So it's not a lot, a lot of rain here 
uh, mainly our far interior areas, far western areas. We'll get into maybe some measurable stuff, but further east, it doesn't look like it's, it's going to be more spotty stuff again. It doesn't look like a big deal. So most of your day on Sunday is not ruined, but it will be uh, much milder here on Sunday uh, ahead of that particular front. And then the next system pulls another cold front through here later in the day on Monday. So out ahead of this, a southwesterly flow will develop once again, and you have a warm surge ahead of this cold front boundary associated with this area, low pressure here, which extends all the way down here like this. Once this moves through, it'll lower the temperatures as we get beyond Monday, but uh, up until Monday, which is uh, March 7th, which is our expected peak heating day, if you will, of our long-range outlook that we projected between the 5th and 7th to be above average. This is probably the pinnacle of that, and we will have uh, temperatures here getting into the 60s in some locations uh, during the day here on Monday. That's going to be ahead of this frontal boundary. Once this front frontal boundary moves through, which is getting outside of our 7-day forecast window, it does turn colder again once we get to Tuesday of next week. So not a lot of precipitation chances there. Uh, a lot of really minor things going on here. We got one of those coming in tonight, maybe a spotty shower in a few spots. Same thing again on Wednesday night. Uh, maybe a snow shower far north, closest to the New York-Pennsylvania border, but elsewhere just a spotty shower, maybe uh, long and north of I-78 Wednesday evening, Wednesday night. Other than that, we have our next chance of rain coming in, maybe with that warm front for a brief time on Saturday morning, and then again on Sunday morning when the cold front moves through, and you're waiting to another minor uh, cold front coming through here on Monday. Doesn't look right now like it's going to produce a lot of precipitation on really any of these events. Uh, so just should be minor stuff, nothing, no real hazards to speak of as far as wind or big storms or anything like that in the next seven days. The big story is going to be the up and down temperatures we're going to be dealing with, at least for this next week ahead until we get to uh, Tuesday of next week when we should be heading back to at least slightly below average at that point. So uh, we'll cover that and cross that bridge when we get there. I'm EPA Dewey Meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for March 1st, 2022. Have a great Tuesday.